Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday, January 26th, 26th, 2021. Uh, kind of a gray day out there today. We had a beautiful day yesterday of sunshine, even though it was still a little bit chilly. But today it's it's kind of cold and gray. The chance of snow is what I heard. I don't know how much. I haven't really paid attention to the weather report other than that uh, we're going to get a chance of snow anyway. So whatever it is, we'll deal with it, right? Uh, Check-in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are still safe and healthy and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here, so cheers, church. And our devotion for today comes from Christ in Our Home, written by Pastor Shelley Cunningham of uh, Zumbro Lutheran Church in Rochester, Minnesota, and also worked for as a manager for Portico Benefit Services team. So, and our scripture reading for today is Psalm 46. Psalm 46. Get your Bibles out. God's defense of his city and people. To the leader of the Korahites, according to Alamoth, a song. That's all in kind of the introduction to Psalm 46 here in my Bible. So here we go, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters rage and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. God utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to end to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And the devotion is titled, A Safe Place to Hide. And the theme verse is verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. My son was having a hard day. His sister had accidentally stepped on his Lego ship and broken it. We only had strawberry jam, not grape jelly, his favorite, for peanut butter sandwiches at lunch. The friend he was supposed to play with was sick and had to cancel. I could see storm clouds rising in his eyes. Those of you who are parents know that look, right? So I sent him to his room to settle down. For a while, he made a ruckus, throwing toys and moving things around. When it finally got quiet, I peeked in. He had taken pillows and blankets and made a fort between his dresser and his bed. There, clutching his favorite stuffed animal, he'd fallen asleep. Later, day righted, I asked him what he, why he'd done that. I felt bad and needed needed a safe place to hide, he said. Little kids aren't the only ones who have bad days. <laughs> we know that too, don't we? At times, we all need a place of refuge, somewhere we feel safe and secure when troubles arise. If you can't build a blanket fort, perhaps reciting Psalm 46.1 can still your storms. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Hmm. Psalm 46 is the psalm Martin Luther used to write his favorite hymn, uh, his famous hymn, uh, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And it's comforting to know that when you and I have bad days, and we all have them, when we get bombarded, it seems, by all sides of life, 
when we need a place of refuge, we have God. We may build a blanket fort to hide in, or you know, at least curl up under a coasty toasty fleece blanket. We may recite Psalm 46, verse 1. Any of those ways, uh, blanket fort or just under a fleece blanket or reciting Psalm 46, 1, we are reminded that God is our refuge and strength. A bulwark never failing, to quote Brother Martin. Be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Uh, wash your hands and wear your masks. Oh my, got a new uh, Minnesota gopher mask I have on today. Uh, practice physical distancing, distancing from others when you're out and about and stay home as much as possible. We do these things because we love our neighbor. We want to slow the spread of COVID-19. We want to keep ourselves and we want to keep others safe and healthy. And we want to share the light of Christ. So that's why we do these things. So let's pray. Sheltering God, when we need to find peace, may we seek it first in you. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.